Kia ora, everyone. Um, my name is Diana Wilkes, and I work for Cognition Education. I am the Assistant Regional Team Leader of the North Learning with Digital Technologies team, and I also work as a Science Learning Hub facilitator. It is becoming clear that we need a resurgence of science in the typical primary classroom. This short presentation will endeavor one main objective, to suggest how digital technologies can support teaching and learning in science as both a source of content and as a tool for recording scientific thinking. A great online resource is the Science Learning Hub. It's managed by the University of Waikato, funded by the Ministry of Business, Innovation and Employment, and it was created by New Zealand educators and scientists for use in years 2 to 10. It connects learners with researchers, enabling authentic learning experiences. What can we find in the Science Learning Hub? Contexts. The contexts are the heart of the hub. Each explores a major theme or idea and provides a gateway to related content and explorations. If you are looking to target scientific ideas, key science themes, or interesting science events using a variety of teaching and learning approaches, then the science stories section is what you are after. Here, in this area of the Science Learning Hub, the nature of science is unpacked and myths are debunked. What is the nature of science? It's a way of thinking, and it is the overarching and unifying strand in the New Zealand Science Curriculum document. Now, what else can digital technologies do to support science teaching and learning? They can enable us to support science learning as tools that can record and rewind scientific thinking. Digital technologies allow us to capture investigations in real time, record our wonderings and explanations, and then share with others using Web 2.0 tools and various iPad apps. You can see some of these tools listed here. Ultimately, digital technologies can enhance teaching and learning science in so many ways. They enable ubiquitous access to resources, allowing an open curriculum. They leapfrog learners into complex knowledge by making abstract concepts more visible. And they empower sci citizen science by connecting learners with the global science community. To conclude, let's remember that science should really be about cultivating curiosity. It should be about opportunities to see, think, and wonder, to predict, observe, and explain. Digital technologies can enable us as teachers and as learners to question the world around us. If you would like to come to one of our free Science Learning Hub workshops, please contact me at dwilks at cognition.co.nz to register. There are so many fabulous digital technologies, but here you will see a short list of some useful science links. Thank you for watching.